so that pretty much covers everything with Diotas as regular equivalent. So Iris image coming from the IOM also 700. You know, I don't know <laughs> Yeah, it's an effort of great doctors like you. Thank you very much for Thank this. you so much for the interview. I am really fascinated about your new upgrades coming up. Hyperopy correction right. in the OK line. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so we just got the CE mark on oh, really? Hyperopy. Yeah. You can treat now up to plus seven diopters spherical oh, really? equivalent. Really? So that pretty much covers everything you can do on laser vision correction uh -huh. with Hyperopia. Yeah. yeah, that comes in a package now because the software package was approved, so it comes now in a package with outer oculine, a cyclotorsion adjustment based on an iris image coming from the IOM Master 700. You know, so that further improves accuracy, workflow and of course the range of patients you can treat. So the, it's going to be uh, launched on the Euro first and then yes. go to the Asia. Right. Hey, it's a major upgrade. Yeah. Yes, we are waiting for it so long and now yeah, finally we finally got it. We got the <laughs> so what is your, your opinion about Hyperopia in Asia? I think it's not so big volume of patients to be really important. Really. Nowadays, the, a mild hyperopic patient or a hyperopic plus a press biopic patient, mm. they're having trouble reading and near things. Yes. So, but we, we don't have much options because uh, we cannot do the uh, intraocular lens implantation because their ACD is too shallow. Yes. Uh, so we have to do the cornea surgery or the clear, clear lens extraction. Right. But since they're in the mid 40s, uh, they don't have the cataract. Right, so right, right, right. I'm against doing the CLE yes. too soon. Yes. So I'd rather take the cornea surgery, but we had to do the Lasik flap surgery for yes, the hyperopic yes. correction. If you have the option to do the smile, because the patient yes. wants to do the smile because it's safer. So if we have the hyperopic option, then it's yes. going to be a good weapon for us. Okay, super. Good to hear that. Very uh, wide range to cover. Plus up to seven diopters, you said? Yes, oh. seven diopters uh, is very good equivalent. So it depends on the, you know, how much cylinder and whatever, and, uh, and the optical yeah. zone a little bit. But that's the maximum we can go. Very impressive. I've done the wet lab uh, just okay. before and. It looks really good, the smooth... Uh... Yes, it's a little bit more challenging because the eyes are typically smaller. So you have a smaller white to white, yeah. but you need a larger right. ventricle. Yeah. So there's a learning curve, I guess, for the, for the first cases, but uh, manageable. I found that the incision and the transition zone is a, a, a bit narrower than the myopic correction, but right. still the experienced surgeon can also handle it. And right. the periphery is a little bit thicker, so when we go to the down, uh, uh, lower part, uh, we should be careful a little bit to not to... Not to, uh, not to go through a center and then right. penetrate uh, yeah. right. But uh, just one more question. is that can we only do the hyperopic correction with the VC800 or can yes. we do it oh, already? Yeah. Yes. Is there a specific reason for it? I think it's a very good idea because you have larger lenticles, you have larger caps, so it takes longer. Yes. Sir. So if you would do hyperopes uh, on the on the old oh, okay, Visomax, yeah. it would take very long. So it would be like 30 seconds or something like that. Plus, you're docking because of the smaller eyes. Yes. It's more difficult. So all these things together, it's, it's much better to have a quicker treatment uh, to, to reduce your suction loss risk. Okay. It's lucky that I have a VJ turn. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, great. Thank you. Great talk to you. Thank you. Take care. 드디어 짜이스에서도 메이저 업그레이드를 가져왔는데 그게 바로 기존의 근시와 근시성 난시반 교정이 되는 데서 한 단계 업그레이드가 돼서 드디어 스마일 프로로도 원시 교정이 가능한 그런 업그레이드가 진행이 되게 됐습니다. 원시 교정을 지금까지는 뭐 라식을 해가지고 뭐 어렵게 뭐 원시 커팅을 한다든지 뭐 이런 식으로 진행을 하거나 원시를 없애기 위해서 이제 무리하게 초기 백내장을 제거를 해서 백내장도 별로 없는 눈을 수술한다거나 이런 방식으로 진행이 됐다면 이제는 간편하게 아주 빠른 회복을 지향하면서도 안전하게 스마일 베이스에서 이제 수술을 진행하고 원시 교정이 가능한 그런 업그레이드가 드디어 진행이 된다 이렇게 보시면 되겠고 여기 보시면 아시겠지만 짜이스 코니어 리프렉티 워크플로우라고 그래가지고 이제 여기서 할수 있는 수술이 나오고 있는 거예요 비시맥스 800을 가지고 이제 우리가 스마일 프로를 할 수가 있고 매일 구공을 가지고 우리가 라섹을 아주 적게 깎으면서 진행을 할 수가 있고 저 아래 보시면 이제 프레스 비욘드라고 그래가지고 저희가 하고 있는 노안 수술 있고 거기다 마지막 뉴 짜이스 마일 프로 프로 하이퍼 오피아 그러니까 스마일 프로로 우리가 원시 교정이 진행될 수 있다. 이게 이제 마지막 메이저 업그레이드라고 보시면 되겠고 이것과 더불어 우리가 이제 그동안은 난시 교정도 실제로 난시 조절을 마지막에 축 조절을 할 수가 있었는데 그게 자동화되지는 않았거든요. 완벽하게. 근데 그 부분도 아마 원시 교정이 업그레이드가 되면서 같이 완벽한 자동화 시스템으로 될수 있겠다. 이렇게 좀 오늘 설명을 들었습니다. 그래서 
뭐 수술적 술기야 뭐 저희가 워낙 많이 했으니까 전혀 어려운 건 없었는데 렌티큘이 형성되는 방식과 렌티큘의 디자인 부분 이런 것들이 좀 달라지기 때문에 그런 걸 저희가 좀더 숙지를 하고 좀더 폭넓은 환자분들한테 좋은 결과를 낼수 있을 것 같아서 큰 기대가 됩니다